The hedgehog regularly comes on top of surveys, um, top of the surveys when they're looking for which is the new national icon, which is the species we should have representing this country, which is your favorite animal. The hedgehog is absolutely right at the top of people's list. People love hedgehogs. And this shouldn't be sort of sniffed at as a very unscientific thing. That issue is really crucial because we need people to have a deep connection, understanding of what it is to be out in the natural world. And the hedgehog is brilliantly gifted because it doesn't have a fight or flight response. So we can get and look into the beady eyes of a little hedgehog and actually get close to a really genuinely amazing wild animal. It's crucial that we care about hedgehogs because they are a point of connection to the wild for us. But it's also crucial because they're an innate part of our ecosystems and every single component of our ecosystem is important. It is a network, it's a system. You remove these bits and pieces, the system becomes weaker, the system then risks collapsing. So the population of hedgehogs in Britain has declined dramatically in the last few years. We know from a combination of different surveys that there's been in the suburban landscape a reduction of at least a third in the, since the turn of the century and in our rural landscape at least a half in some areas far greater decline too. And the threats that these hedgehogs face are, are different compared to each of their different environments. The rural hedgehog population they are facing a loss of habitat obviously as development takes place. They're facing a loss of food as the intensification of farming tends to remove hedgehog food which is macroinvertebrates from the landscape. Uh, they face a loss of habitat, structural habitat, so the hedgerows. I mean, you can have thin hedges, which are great, they'll still show up on a map, but they're not the rich, robust shelter areas that hedgehogs really need. In suburbia, hedgehogs face, I suppose there are similar overarching issues, but these issues are much more uh, small scale. They're to do with the way that we manage our gardens. Um, and it's one of the, the issues I really enjoy about the hedgehog is that we can now start to actually do something ourselves. We can do things with our own gardens, which can make a serious difference. Connectivity is absolutely crucial. I think we've underestimated the importance of connectivity in the landscape and the impact that habitat fragmentation has on wildlife. And so now, Hedgehog Street, uh, Wildlife Connections, these are all projects which are beginning to address this seriously, beginning to look at the ways we can reconnect the landscape. So once you've started to reconnect the landscape, you have the opportunity of having viable populations of hedgehogs and other species. And all the work that we do for hedgehogs is not just for the benefit of hedgehogs. It benefits so much other wildlife too. And we must also remember that by benefiting wildlife, we're benefiting ourselves because we benefit from a connection with the natural world. We get ill if we do not have connection with the natural world. We need to do it. So by creating the connections, we're bringing ourselves close to nature as well as allowing nature to thrive. The three key things we can do at home are quite straightforward, quite simple. Hedgehogs need to have food, they need to have shelter, and they need to have connectivity in the landscape. So you can provide food in your garden by actively providing food, putting out bits of meaty pet food, or by ensuring you've got a good wide variety of plants growing there which attract the insects, which lay the eggs, which turn into the grubs, which become hedgehog food. So they need food. They need structure. They need habitat in which to be able to nest. So the hedgehogs will need to have uh, I mean, brambles or some sort of structure within which they can pull leaves of the right sort of size, you know, oak leaves, hazel leaves, lime leaves, those sorts of things. They create the perfect sort of nesting habitat for hedgehogs. And then they need connectivity within the landscape because you can do everything to make the world's most amazing wildlife friendly garden. You can sit out there at night and marvel at the bats that flit around overhead. And in the day you can look at the birds singing and the butterflies and the bees. But all of these things benefit from the capacity to fly over the boundaries we create. We need to make sure these boundaries are porous for the really interesting wildlife that go snuffling around at night.